Hello YouTube, today is Wednesday the 16th and a couple things I want to go through today, first of which being the strange aurora which was reported in Norway. Now what caught my eye about this is look it appears that we have a moon here and then an eagle looking object here. Now to me this just this just screams Egyptian hieroglyphics. So I thought this was a rather strange aurora to be showing, but I wanted to share it with you. Next I'm going to go to space weather. They're discussing uh, the sunspot, which says here less than a week ago it didn't exist. And now it's uh, larger than the planet Jupiter. And there was another M1 solar flare that happened. Now this is interesting here, they're talking about the deep impact that they made with their probe in 2005 on the Temp L uh, comet, and they've been studying that. Now I find it strange that they made a deep impact on a comet, and the law of karma states that a comet will make a deep, deep impact on Earth. So I thought that was kind of strange, and uh, there was a video circulating yesterday about the Associated Press covering a story on uh, the comet and there was another one with the CBS logo and someone was drawing some strange parallels between you know coded messages to the elites and you can check it out yourself it's it's there look for it on YouTube next uh, I wanted to find discuss this right here this 2009 BD this is another close approach asteroid Now, I won't make the mistake like I did last time. As you can see, its orbit is nearly identical to the Earth on both planes. But what's disturbing about this one is as we go forward here, you see that it comes very close. It's almost in the same orbit as we are. And this gives the Earth a lot more time for its gravitational pull to pull this uh, asteroid into us. And it's at its close on, oddly enough, June 11th another 11 but you see it's almost identical the paths intertwine and it stays very close to us so keep an eye out on this one next we're going to check the alert map here worldwide see if there's anything to report here I thought this was interesting here in Newfoundland they're dealing with snow and bitter cold Schools across Newfoundland and Labrador were closed for a second day in a row Wednesday as another bout of bitter winds and heavy snow blasted the province. And just about 2,000 miles away from there in South Dakota, they're having a heat wave. Very warm temperatures for this time of year for South Dakota. Rapid City hit a record breaking 67 degrees. The old record was 62. So that's a bit strange. Um, you can see seismic activity continues. 5.0 earthquake in Fiji. We have more plane incidents here in the United States. And let's continue on to USGS site. Seismic activity continues as you can see. Looks like they had one right in the same spot in Arkansas again. This area has been plagued by earthquakes lately. Not of much magnitude. Oh, looks like they had two here. Well, that's a bit disturbing. New Madrid area. 2.4. Hmm. I want to keep an eye on that situation. Okay. Another thing I wanted to show you guys here was
See the NOA A is alerting rapid pole shift in progress, which may explain the strange weather we've been having. Hmm. I'm trying to find that reporter of the video who had a stroke on television. Now they said it was a stroke, but it's strange. I've been noticing these strokes are becoming more frequent. In fact, my uncle just had a stroke recently. Same thing. He was unable to talk, unable to speak. So look into it, people. That's about all I want to discuss with you today. Be safe, everyone, and I will keep you updated and look into what you can.